Hey, welcome to my product review of Sling Studio. Today, I'm going to show a little tutorial of how to go live with Sling Studio. I'm going to take you from the very beginning of how to create a new project to how to set it up, how to set up your audio sources, and then how to go live. Then once you're finished, I'm going to show you how to stop the program. I'm going to do once with Facebook and once with YouTube. We'll start off by, we have to create a new project. That's the way you have to start each time you want to go live. So we'll come over here, and we'll click on the three lines. Open, create a project, and we're going to create a new project. And the new project name is going to be Test. And we're going to set it for Internet. And... Because our internet is not screaming fast, I'm going to bring it down to the minimal amount, uh, 1.5. Then we're going to go ahead and go to live broadcasting. You need to select a destination. And for this particular one, we're going to go try Facebook. We're going to post it on our church's Facebook page. Choose Publish Now test, test, make it public, and set the destination. All right, we'll choose save, set up, we're going to go to our audio sources, choose yes, and so what we have is we have uh, three audio sources. We got the line in, we got HDMI, that's the camera, we got camera link, and I'm going to add one more. I'm going to add this, my phone, to that so that we have four sources. And I'm going to do that right now. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an adjustment to our audio program. I only want uh, audio in from uh, one source, and that's from the audio in. I'm going to get rid of the audio from my phone, from the um, camera link, and from HDMI. So Here we go. Off, off, off. And I've chosen to record the program as well, so it's here. Here we are. I'm on my computer, and you can see that I'm I'm live right now, right there. And I'm going to go ahead and start playing that live. And you can see that uh, really doing some incredible stuff. So when you want to end Facebook Live, you navigate to the left of the screen to where it says Go Live and click on the red button. This both begins and ends live broadcasting. When the next dialog box pops up, simply press Stop Live and then now stop we're going to stop recording. And once I stop recording, that will be the end. But that's how simple it is to put a program on Facebook Live. Now I'm going to do the same thing for YouTube. I'm going to open a new project. Use the three lines. Click on the three lines. Create a new project. And I happen to have one called Test. And we'll just use it, Test. It's going to be, we got it set for test, we got it set for the internet, uh, I got the lowest setting possible, and we're going to choose live broadcasting, we're going to select a destination, it's going to be YouTube, I'm going to choose stream now, you, got, you can choose stream now or live events. Uh, if you choose a live event, you set it, say, at least 10 minutes into the future, and then you can start streaming at that point. So we're going to click on stream now. And we got it called test, test, and we're setting it to private. And with YouTube, you can set it to public or private. And we're going to choose set destination. We're going to choose save. Set up our storage. Here it says it's 100% set up. Uh, we'll go to our audio sources just to make sure. There we go. Our audio sources are off to where we've got uh, only the audio line in going. And um, then we're ready to, to go live. Let's just go ahead and we're going to press go live. 
Oh, excuse me. You always have to have one source in there, so you grab one source and you put it in there into your program pane. You got your preview pane and your program pane. And we put uh, one live source in there. Now we're going to choose Go Live. All right, it's going live. Well, I've decided to record it and to go live. And there it is. We are now on YouTube Live. That's how simple it is. And uh, I'll dial it up on my computer for you so you can see it. All right, so I've dialed it up. And there we are. It's showing uh, the live stream there. There is a delay on the live stream. Uh, you can set the delay amount that you want. So you can see we've, we've, we've switched now to the um, other camera. And you can see that switch. You can see the delay. And so I think we're done broadcasting. It's so simple. Even a caveman can do it. So here we go. We're going to stop the live setting. It's going to say, do you want to stop? We're going to say, yes, we want to stop. And it's got down there at the bottom. It says, stop broadcasting. Now we're going to stop recording. And that's how you go live with Facebook and YouTube. This is Dennis. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe.